Okay then, thanks for joining me on what is going to be a YouTube first on Wayne's Electrical. Uh, we've got that radio teleswitch there ready to go. It's going to go in the next couple of minutes and when it does, uh, it's going to switch on a nice big fat load. And that electric meter there is going to absolutely bomb it round. Okay, it's going to do it on the top reading. Okay, we'll have a little rollover as well. It's going to operate within the next minute or so. I'm going to go quiet now. And there it is, people. YouTube first on Wayne's Electrical. Privately owned uh, radio tele switch turning on a nice big fat phantom load. And look at that electric meter. It is absolutely scorching it around. Okay. Now I set this up earlier. And on that electric meter we've got around about 75 amps whacking through that at the moment. And coming out very shortly we're going to do a rollover on a top readout. And uh, yes, I mean, this is so, so satisfying. Okay, it's a remotely operated, deeply satisfying load wheel action. Okay, does it get any better than that? I don't think it does. Okay, so I've just received a switching signal from BBC Radio 4 198 long wave. It's been piggybacked onto that. And wallop, that uh, radio tele switch is turned on, and my electric meter is now buzzing most superbly. Let's zoom in for the rollover. It's, here it comes, it's doing it now. There we are, 4,600 then on the GEC C11 B2A-RH. Okay, registering on the top readout because the uh, the old radio turns switch, not only does it turn the load on, it does a rate change as well. Okay, because it's a rate changer. If I uh, zoom in on the old uh, radio turn switch, you can see that the little on tab is uh, dropped down then. You see it says on in there. There you go. Let's just focus them. So it says off and on and it's dropped to the on position. And there we go. So that is most superb right there. And uh, that is exactly what we want. And uh, yeah. So I've just got it in. Full HD 1920 by 1080 p on Wayne's Electrical. Uh, privately owned radio tele switch turning on a nice big fat phantom load and uh, make an electric meter whack round. So there it is, it's doing it most wonderfully. Now, if I left that like that, it would do that for the next two hours and then the uh, radio tele switch would turn off. Okay, and then it would have a two hour break and then it would turn back on again right the way through to, I believe, half past seven tomorrow morning. Okay, it's pretty obvious I'm not going to leave that like that because my poor little transformers will get a bit hot and it's a bit of a fire risk as well. And not only that, we've also got uh, exposed live connections down there on the floor which is rather dangerous because if Toby come in and smelt it, he'd get uh, 240 volts up his nose. And that wouldn't be too nice, would it? So, there it is. It's whacking around there most superbly. Uh well, what can I say? I'm uh, really, really impressed with that. Uh, yeah. So what I want to do then, uh, is just leave that going for a little bit, just to show it running, and uh, yeah. We'll do another rollover, and then I shall wrap the video up. Now, from where I'm standing, or sitting, or... Well, I'm actually kneeling down behind the camera, to be technically correct. What I'm going to do is, uh, after the video, I'm going to get it into the video editor because I've got to chop out about, I'd say about 40 seconds of nothing. Okay, from the intro from when, uh, from the intro to the point at when the radio tele switch operated. You won't know about that because I've already done it. Okay, and uh, it'll just be me talking and then it'll be like, say, about 10 seconds of silence and then the radio tele switch operated. Because, well, you know that because you've just seen it. 
let me zoom in on that uh, electric meter one more time then because we're just about to do another rollover. Here it comes then, we're going for 4,601. That load wheel's bombing it around in there. 75 amps that is. There it is then, 4,601. Like I say, if I left that like that, it would uh, keep on going like that all through the night. Well, it would have a, uh, be two hours, then a two-hour break, and then another six hours until around about half past seven tomorrow morning. Now, I'm not going to go into the wiring config of how I've wired this up because it's, uh, it's not how it would be done in an actual installation in someone's house. Okay, this is phantom load, and I'm whacking a bit of current through that. Okay, and there we are. So, we've got the load wheel whacking around in there then. And, uh, yeah, that is most superb. Now, we've got a point out here, right? Because this is phantom load. Uh, if, like I say, if I left it like it, you know, seven hours from now, that load wheel would be still be going round at the same speed. But the thing is that, you know, the truth of it is, in, uh you know, a proper household where you've got the storage heaters and the motion heater and all that lot. Uh, you know, when your uh, rate changer first turns on, it's obvious that uh, everything is going to clunk in, all your storage heaters and the motion heater and all that lot. That's pretty obvious. Uh, but over the, over the night, as things go on, you know, your wash cycle is going to come to an end if you turn the washing machine on. Uh, tumble dryer is not going to last forever if you've got a tumble dryer going. Uh, your storage heat is eventually going to come up to temperature and switch off, as is your uh, immersion heater tank. Okay, that will come up to temperature and switch off as well. So over the course of the seven hours that you will allocated on Economy 7, uh, throughout the night, as things go off and turn back on, that load wheel in the electric meter would speed up and slow down, and more or less towards the end of your allocated seven hours, it would hardly be going around at all. Okay, but because this is phantom loading, I could leave that going like that all night until that radio tele switch turns back off at half past seven tomorrow morning. But like I say, I won't do that because it is a fire risk uh, and it's exposed live connections. And also, uh, I'm pumping 75 amps through that electric meter. I mean, the electric meter would take it, but my two little transformers are 30 amps each. Okay, 230s is 60, but I'm actually tugging 75, so, you know, they're, they're overloaded by about, uh, like, 7.5 amps each, which uh, isn't good for them. They do it for a little while for the duration of this video, but anything more than that, and they're going to get start getting hot and cooking. And, uh, yeah, if I popped them, I don't think Mr. Photon would be too happy with me. Okay, because he donated those in the name of science so that we could do videos like this. Okay, not that so I can overload the little poor little blighters and pop them. So there we go. We're coming in for another rollover. On that upper readout once again then. 4,602. Coming up. This one doesn't have a rapid advance on it anywhere. Okay, so it's not as if it's between the ones and the tens. So there we go, 4,602 then. That is most satisfying. Uh, how far am I into this? Well, for me, it'll be a bit less for you because I'm going to edit a chunk out, don't forget. Right. I've got to wrap this one up because I've got to put Varac away. I've got to de-energise that uh, electric meter. I'm going to keep the uh, radio teleswitch energised throughout the night. And around about, I'd say, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm going to unplug it. And uh, that'll be the last time I'll energise it up. Okay, because after that I don't need to energise it anymore. And there we are, and there we have it. A bit later on then, in you know other videos... What I would like to do is get this up on the wall again, but instead of doing a radio tele switch, 
I would like to replace that radio tether switch with what went before it, namely a uh, 24 hour rate change of time switch, we'd get that up on the wall and at least then I'll be able to set the control when I want it to turn on and I could even do it during the middle of the day but, like I say, with a radio tele switch, I have no, over, no control over when it turns on and off which is why I have to do this in real time okay, when I say to you that it turns on at half past ten at night I can tell you right about now, it is around about twenty-five to eleven now, twenty to quarter to eleven at night and uh, yeah, okay, you know, because I can't choose when that radio tele switch turns on, so you know, I have to do the video around the operation of that radio tele switch. But here's the thing when I get this back up on the wall a bit later and replace that radio tele switch with a 24 hour rate changer, I can do it any time of day or night that takes my fancy. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to close this video with another rollover, and then once we've done the rollover, that'll be the end of it. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in for watching this one. Uh, it has been another Wayne's Electrical production, of course. Full HD, 1920x1080p, with stereo sound, and all of that stuff. There will be more electricity meter videos coming up later on. For now, enjoy the deeply satisfying load wheel action, which has uh, been remotely switched for me by BBC Radio 4 198 Longwave, or the Radio Tele Switch. Cheers for watching this one, then.